It's a beautiful Saturday morning in the fabulous Florida Keys, but then again, we treat every day like Saturday afternoon when we live in paradise. I'm Gary McAdams with Bob Anderson Realty, the Key West Life. It's not even 8 a.m. and it's already 85 degrees outside. I just went out to the driveway to get my newspaper. It's going to be a beautiful day. This is my morning market MLS update post I do every day about this time. I report all the new listings in Key West and the lower keys in the last 24 hours. That's anything that's come on the market from Big Pine Key down to Key West in the last 24 hours. If you follow this post every day, you'll learn about them the same day the realtors learn about them, which is valuable information to have. Most buyers will comb Zillow and look at properties and frantically call realtors wanting to see them. And by the time Zillow puts something out, it's already been on the market three or four days and the good deals are usually gone. If you follow this post, you'll know about every listing from Big Pine Key down to Key West the same day the realtors know about them. You can also get a much more detailed description of these listings, including photos and a lot more just data and information on the properties themselves. If you follow my blog, keywestinvesting.com. I'll put the web address in the description below, but it's just keywestinvesting.com. Now, before I get into these listings, I have stuff the state of Florida makes me cover, the one too many lawyers in Florida. The data I'm about to give you comes directly from the Florida Keys multiple listing service. I'm not claiming any responsibility for any of these listings. I'm not claiming any of these listings are my end. And I'm not accepting any responsibility for any inaccuracies there may be in these listings. I'm just simply reading you right from the MLS. Now you'll probably see my eyes wander down from time to time. I'm looking at my computer to make sure I get it right. If you like this channel, please let me know by subscribing. Then you can see the information like this every day. And also I do videos on just day-to-day -day life in the Keys. Uh, you know, I'll pick a different neighborhood or a different house and I'll video it. But please hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, please let me know by hitting the thumbs up button. That lets me know the people that are actually watching this and I'm not just wasting my time. Today we have six new listings we have to talk about. The first one is a great two bedroom, three bathroom, 1,350 square foot condo overlooking Key West Harbor, the Atlantic, the Gulf, and the famous Key West Sunset. It's being offered at $2,595,000. A couple of good advantages of the Truman Annex. One is the location. You can literally walk to Duval Street in less than five minutes. And also, if you're looking for an investment rental property, Truman Annex can be rented in seven-day intervals, where most of Key West is the 30-day minimum rental period by law. And staying very close to Duval Street, we go to Symington Street. There's a two-bedroom, three-bathroom condo also. This one's 1,425 square feet. It's offered at $1,299,000. You step out your front door and walk a block and you're on Duval Street. Then we go up to Sugarloaf to a subdivision called Indian Mound, which if you're familiar with Sugarloaf, it's kind of behind the school. There's an open water, three bedroom, three bathroom, 1,752 square foot house. It's being offered at $2,399,000. And on Kudjo Key on Coates Lane, we have a three bedroom, three bathroom, 1,794 square foot house. It's being offered at $1,599,000. I've sold a few houses on Coates Lane. The problem there is it's in the VE flood zone. Everything in every flood zone you'll see in the keys is either AE, VE, or X. X is the best. You're not even required to carry flood insurance if you have a mortgage if you're in the X. AE is the most prevalent. My personal home's in the AE flood zone where the insurance rates aren't that bad. But with the VE flood zone, which Coates Lane is, the joke amongst the insurance agents is that VE stands for very expensive. Then we go to Big Torch Key. If you want a privacy and you want quiet and you want the old rustic key living, Big Torch Key could be the place for you. This is a two bedroom, one bathroom house. It's being offered at $825,000. It's on a canal. People that live out in Big Torch either absolutely love it for the privacy and the quiet, 
or they move out in six months because they realize you're twenty minute you're a twenty minute drive before you even get to the highway, and then another twenty five to thirty minutes before you get to Key West, or another ten minutes before you get to the grocery store. Personally, I love it out there, but it's one of those that people either really love or really dislike. Then lastly, we have a house on Big Pine Key in a subdivision called Pine Channel Estates, which is one of the more upscale subdivisions of Big Pine Key. This one's a four bedroom, four bathroom, 2,232 square foot house. It's being offered at $1,200,000, which is a great buy for that neighborhood. That's a really good area to live in. And that's it for the new listings today. If you enjoyed the video, please give me that thumbs up symbol below and let me know. If you want to watch more videos of this nature, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do one every day. If you want to see any of these homes or any homes anywhere in the Florida Keys, give me a call, 305-731-0501. I'm Gary McAdams with Barbara Anderson Realty, The Key West Life.